Welcome to the CTB channel. I am your host CTB. How's everyone doing? Today I will be reacting to episode 8 of The Last of Us. This one is called When We Are In Need. Uh, we left off with uh, Ellie trying to figure out how to cure Joel from his uh, wound. He was stabbed in the previous episode before that one. And in that we got a little backstory of when Ellie actually got bitten by an infected. We got to see her relationship with her friend Riley develop and then quickly end. I thought that was pretty sad, but it was a good episode. And uh, from this one, from this point on, I'm, we're back into the story that I pretty much know. So I don't expect any su surprises here. I, they've been pretty much sticking to the script at this point. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Let's jump into the episode. No, pretty sure we're going to meet the townspeople now. Revelation 21. Oh, there's the name of the episode right there. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. For there will be no more death. So wait, is this the creepy guy? Or is this someone else in the town? Let me bury him. Oh, her dad must have died. Oh, that was Troy Baker. The ground is too cold to dig. How much do we have left? Venison. Yeah, grab it. Get the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Oh, for those who don't know, I'm gonna keep uh, a little uh, a bit of information to myself. I sense doubt in there. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not oh, so them. this is David. Wait, was David like a religious leader in the game? I don't remember that. Wow, they made that look so good. They're very believable. Hey, he's still alive. She's doing a pretty good job, right? I'm guessing I'm guessing that's the last of the food. Are we going to get the iconic scene? Hey, there's the rabbit. So I guess we aren't getting the iconic scene. She's tracking. Yeah, but we are getting the deer. No, it wasn't a kill shot, though. Anyway. Oh, she they actually got there mistake. before she did. Joe! Grab your rifle. <laughs> She's trying to put some no! bass in her voice. That's funny. Turn and face me. Come on. Any sudden moves, I put one right between your eyes. You don't get it took a lot of guts for her to do that. Me, I probably would have just stayed back and let them take the deer and try to find another one, maybe. Okay. We're from a larger group, women, children, and we're all very, very hungry. I'm from a large group, too. Also hungry. <laughs> well, even so... Then why are you by yourself? We can trade you for some of the deer. We have... What do you need? We have boots. Medicine? Like for infection. All right, go... Talk to Howard. He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring back two bottles and a syringe. It's not code, James. Do as I said. It's a four mile round trip back to our settlement. It's gonna be a while before James gets back. I have some oil and matches in my pack. We could take shelter, start a fire. I don't know this actor's name, but he's 
selling the creepy. He's doing a very good job. He's trying to have a trusting voice, but I'm not buying it. So what's your name? It's hard to trust strangers, I know, but I honestly mean you no harm. There's room for you in our group, if you want. You inviting me to your hunger club? Thanks. It's true, we're hungry, but we're still here. She said hunger club. I'm a decent man, <laughs> just trying to take care of the people who rely on me. You're the leader? Rule number 33. When someone tries to tell you they're a good person, they're probably not a good person. Well, I found God. After the apocalypse, well, creepy Dave, Dave certainly isn't gaining my is trust, but he has day. absolutely gained Ellie's trust. No such thing as luck. No, uh, I now that I do believe. I'm not a person who believes it in does. luck. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could. And mm -hmm. only three of them came back. Aha. Uh -huh. The one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. Oh, that, that was that girl's there. father. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. You see? Everything happens for a reason. James, lower the gun. Did you bring the medicine? Yeah, but... Throw it to her. Could have at least brought fake medicine. You could have done that. Just to give it to her so you could track her back to the house. But he actually brought real medicine. That I never understood. She's gonna stick him directly in the wound. Um, I don't think that's how you do that, but they don't have any other shirts in this house. Uh, probably not. The Raiders have probably picked all these houses clean as far as, you know, clothing goes because they're in Colorado. So clothing is very important in the wintertime anyway. Oh, it's snowing, so it's, it's covering up her footprints. What is it? Venison. So wait, do they know? Big one. Why aren't they happy? If you've heard a rumor, Yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. Oh, he ain't gonna like that. Damn. He made sure to take his glove off, too. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. But the truth is... Harry, but I'm your daddy now. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. See, they tried to point him off at the beginning as some kind of great guy. Like, just a religious leader of the town, but... They're, sh they're slowly showing us. Lord, bless this food and grant that we... Maybe so is he really claiming her as his his wife now? Is that what's going on? Bless us with Christ, the living bread. See, he knows what's up. I can't tell whether the rest of the people know what's up, though. They still don't have any food. You gotta bring back something, Ellie.
if someone watching is like a nurse or something, could you tell me if that's how you're supposed to do that? Because it doesn't seem right to me. Uh-oh. So they were able to track her even after it was snowing. I don't know about that. We bring her back with us. The guy that's playing the Dave kind of looks like Woody Harrelson. We can let her go. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Yeah, maybe that's God's will. Creepy Dave needs more girls for his flock. Joel can't help you now. You better figure it out yourself. His eyes did open, though. There are men coming, okay? I'm gonna lead them away from you. But oh, it's about to get real, y'all. You fucking kill them, you got it? Don't you not fall asleep. Wake up, Joel. Come on, Ellie, you gotta get at least one of them. Troy Baker's doing his thing. Oh, man. Not the horse. Now that I think about it, that is how it goes down, right? They shoot the horse. Do it. Yeah, they want, they want to kill her, but Creepy Dave isn't having it. Ellie didn't get one of those guys. Damn. The rest of you. Now they have horse meat too. You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. So he took two and left three. We've got three on one. Very doable for Joel, even if he is wounded. All right, buddy, you got to get up now. They're coming for you. Where did he go? He didn't leave, did he? Oh, he was hiding behind the water heater. Oh, he spit blood at him. Yeah. All right, one down, two to go. Oh yeah, Ellie in the cage. Forgot about this part. I started worrying you wouldn't wake up. Hungry? Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. You're a dangerous person. You've certainly proven that. <laughs> uh, a little inexperienced in the matters, but yes, still dangerous. Why don't we just start with your name? Eat shit. Hey, listen to me. That's a cool name. You can't survive on your own. No one can. I'm not on my own. I ain't your friend. And how is he? That part of your life, it's ending. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. I alone can save you. Yeah, right, buddy. Timothy? Timothy gone, boy. You better run. Oh, yeah. Classic scene. Character defining scene. Relax. You focus right here, or I'll pop your fucking kneecap off. 
Oh, this is so cool. Ah, knife in the mouth. Point at the map. Hell yeah. And it better be the exact same spot your buddy points to. Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. Why the fuck did you do that? He told you what you wanted. Joel is not to be messed with. You motherfucker, fuck you. I ain't telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. I love it. And there's the bit of info I was keeping to myself. These people are cannibals. Just dear me, I swear. You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. There are only a few of us that know. But I would have told you. Sooner or oh, later. Oh, okay. So the majority of the yeah, townspeople yeah. don't well, know. Yes, we all are. That's sort of the point. That makes me feel better. You see a lot. So do I. And you know what I see when I look at you? Me. You remind me of me. You have Hell a violent yeah. heart. And I should know. Does she have a violent you know, heart or is she just trying to protect herself? You know what though? But Maybe she sense. does have a violent heart. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep and all I want is an equal. Oh, Ellie, don't buy that line of crap. What about my friend? Uh, equal. He does not want you to be his equal. Like I said, loyal. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. If he leaves us in peace, they will just let him go. Joel will burn that whole town to the ground, to buddy. They follow me. But that's not what he's going to do anyway. He's not going to let him they go. He wants him dead, and he probably wants his, his meat. Think of what we could do together. As strong as we are. Ugh. We'd make this place perfect. This part of the, the story I don't like. Spread out. Look at him. And we do whatever we Whoever this perfect. actor is, he's doing, a, he's doing a damn fine job. Imagine the life we could give them. Imagine the life we could build. Oh, we ain't having that nonsense, buddy. Let's see what I go tell the others now. Ellie. Run tell that, like Martin said. What? Tell them that Ellie is a little girl who broke her fucking finger. How did you? Oh, the delivery. Tiny little awesome. pieces. It's it's just all awesome. I'm loving this. Is that from the horse? Maybe? No, that's her stuff, right? They didn't chop up the ho they would so they can eat people but they're not gonna eat the horse looking creeps no! oh she bit him bit of the English accent came out right there. Just a little bit. What did you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? No, she would have turned by now. This isn't real. 
That looks pretty fucking rude of me. Oh, so we're just in the restaurant now. Okay. All right. Now, this part of the game was ridiculous. There's no way out, Ellie. The doors are locked, and I have the keys. Ellie? Ellie! This part where you're just creeping around the restaurant trying to sneak up behind them with all the broken plates on the floor and stuff, alerting them if you step on them. Great part of that game. So, how did you do it? What's the secret? Or are you just that fucking special? No one likes being humiliated. Apparently she is. You see, I changed my mind. I decided you do need a father. So I'm gonna keep you. And I'm gonna teach you. Nice shot right there. Oh, oh. Yeah. I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. Oh, man. Who is this actor? Uh, I think he's done, Ellie. Now the town can eat him. No! Okay, baby girl. Aw. At this moment, Ellie became Joe's daughter. Yeah, this is this is good stuff, man. Oh, that's it. I gotta say, they did a really good job with this. Taking it out of the video game format and putting it in a live action setting and making it coherent. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is my favorite episode now because... Mainly because the actor they chose to play Creepy Dave did such a good job with that. He really made me feel like he was a, a danger to Ellie, even, even though I know what's going to happen. He really convinced those people that he could provide for them. And as we can see, he was very unequipped to, to take care of a large group of people like that when they resorted to eating people. So why he would even want to do that is just shows that he's not right. The the scene with with Joel and the two townspeople in the cabin, and he's trying to tell him to look at, or he's trying to tell him to point the knife at the map where the town is. That was like perfect. It was like game to live action, perfect. I loved it so much. Great job, Bella Ramsey. Again, she's doing. When she's like going at Dave at the end there, you could really, she's a great actress, man. I gotta just say it, she's great. And she's, she's a freaking teenager, so she's gonna be around for a long time. That about sums it up for episode eight. We only have one episode left. I can't believe that this season is almost over, but 
it, it went by so fast, man. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and hit subscribe if you would like to see more. Also, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And until the next episode, until the last episode, be cool, everybody.